Okay, guys, it is me, Phoenix. Yes, I am finishing up everything that I have started uh, within the last couple of years, and it's um, kind of put everything on the back burner for me. So I am going to start a schedule. Look at that, a gift. The gift to you guys. <laughs> you guys have been a blessing to me, and it says natural disasters, a gift and a blessing. So you guys have been a blessing to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a schedule. I think I'm going to do three times a day, and I am going to do um, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll do um, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then I will do 5 p. No, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So um, I hope that will um, get my videos out there so you guys can watch and figure it out and <laughs> based upon fate. So anyway. Um, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. There has been justice here because at some point you felt like there was some type of, um, it says robbery here, but somebody has been deceptive and you had to seek justice. And you're also looking at the cards and receiving aid from some other place. There was an illness, something about what you were going through. It says natural disaster, an illness made. You have to really realize your blessings and say, stop. You know what? Justice, I'm taking action in regards to somebody that's playing with me. And, you know, you were looking at things, fate, or maybe listening to the cards because you're here in regards to all of the gifts that you've received and the blessings that you had and the blessings that you were two people but natural disasters happen it's like frustration and you've been able to survive and take risks for people but now you're stopping these things there's been some type of stagnation and now you're receiving aid from a justice type of energy it could be equality um it could be logic you're looking at it from a different perspective but you know maybe this is from the universe or maybe you could be going through a court case look you have been too nice Overall, we have card number 36, 38, 25, 59, 12, 11, 10, and 17 is here. And at the bottom of the deck, illness. This could have caused you some type of sickness or to feel weak or, you know, feel like you have to uh, set your, pull your energy back because it's making you feel some type of way. And you know what? You're not doing it anymore. So um, I'm going to pull from the Honest Love Tarot to see what comes out. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. Uh, unsure energy so normally the ace of wands would be courage it would be courage but right now you had to sit back and try to figure out you're unsure about if you should take the courage to seek justice and get help from an authoritative figure or to you know uh, let fate take its place but now you're asking questions and you're not being nice about it um, basically yeah make you jealous you're not caring about anybody's feelings or how they feel. You're, you have to make a decision to be courageous and seek justice, even if, you know, it, it's, it says natural disaster. Have we met before? So maybe this person that is going to help you seek justice is somebody uh, who's going to help you build a foundation. Cancer energy, uh, this uh, is foundations, relationships, nurturing, and family. Before, the last people, the people that were in your life were taken from you, and now you're not going to be around anybody who feels like they can make you jealous. Every justice and everything you're going to receive coming forward or moving forward, it's going to be considered a blessing and a gift and not a curse. And before it was that. So your foundation's moving forward. You know, somebody is coming into your life. They're not going to feel like they're, going to, they're not going to play games. They're not going to be afraid to make the decisions that, you know, normally people would make when it comes to, um, what was I going to say when it comes to uh, the missed opportunities that are in your life? So, again, somebody is looking, or you, yeah, Misha, yeah, somebody, oh, I said somebody got started. Somebody is wishing that they did you right, and now here it is. You have somebody else in your life, and that is considered a blessing to you. I'll look at this card to see what it was. Uh, time for a different path, yeah, and it says, I can't make a move towards you right now because this is the excuse that somebody else always gave. Yeah, and it's ending. So you're ending things, and that's what you're ending the energies that make you feel less than, that make you feel sick, or, you know, natural disasters, you know, things that you know is a disaster waiting to happen, and that you weren't able to receive gifts or blessings from because 
they were stealing your energy until you had to put a hold on it. So anybody else that comes to into your life to help you build foundations, this is why you had to say this time for a new path. Um, and that because the other person kept making excuses, excuses. And so now you're going after your dreams and there's endings in order to have new beginnings. But it's knowledge here. You know, the knowledge comes when, you know, you deal with, you know, things that are unseen, but you know that you're not the only thing that you're going to take chances on is when things happen naturally and not happen purposely. And so natural disasters do cause frustrations and it causes you to have to survive and take risks. But if you can help it, what you've learned from moving forward and making better choices and going on a different path is that you're not going to be around nobody that caused adversity or caused you to miss opportunities or to uh, not not to be able to communicate or to be, you know, um, cause delays into your life. And so that's where you think that you, you see that everybody is that is taking your time or taking away your blessings and the gifts that the universe has for you um, is basically why you're seeking justice and you're also willing to get help, but for the people that's willing to lift you up and not to cause you to cry or be sad, if that makes sense. And, you know, it's not just that um, before, I'm going to say it like this, before when it comes to you not wanting to ask for help or you not wanting to feel helpless, you're going to make sure you make better choices and when you go on this different path in regards to people who help complete you and not deplete you, if that makes sense. And so that's just kind of how I see that. I'm going to pull from this card deck. I forget what it's called. I'll tell you in a second. I have it right. Roast Iconic Deck. You know, this is just, you know, being yeah, triggered. Yeah, everything else in the Oracle. Yeah, see, you're seeking fate and you're seeking, you know, the unseen and the uh, knowledge and the endings that cause new beginnings because, yeah, people have been leeching off of you and causing you to be triggered. And you're like, why am I upset when I constantly keep letting this happen? So you're trusting in fate. You know that justice is going to be your come your way. And you also know that the universe is giving you people who complete you or not deplete you because the last people were causing all of these different emotions. So the gift that the universe is giving you is for you to start over and make better choices moving forward, if that makes sense. And so I'm going to go ahead. I think this is a really good read. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the, um, uh, what is it, the four agreements. And then where you can, again, click the link up above if you want to know what the four agreements are and also the crystal deck. So the two cards that come out is don't make assumptions, both of them. Communicate with clarity. You're going to speak your mind. You're not going to let anybody trigger you moving forward. You're not going to let anybody suck your energy away. And you're not going to uh, gossip or tell people exactly how you feel. You're going to move forward. This is the lesson that you've learned uh, when it comes to this. So it says communicate with clarity. And it says eliminate gossip. Um, so I'll read those in a second. Um, but if you want to know, yeah, the Tanzanite and the Azurite comes out. But if you want to know, whoo, I almost dropped all of those on the floor. If you want to know exactly what they mean, click the link up above uh, for the four agreements. So it says communicate with clarity. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid uh, any drama. Excuse me, avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. If all humans would communicate with impeccability, of the word, all of our relationship would change. There will be no wars, no violence, and no mis no misunderstandings. Do you understand? Because that's what we're going through right now. And don't make assumptions. Eliminate gossip. Making assumptions is a set uh, set up for suffering because usually we gossip about our assumptions. We make assumptions and believe we are right. Then we defend our assumptions and try to make others wrong. You know, and so that is when we're trying to decide what it is. You know. When it comes to a person that has been sucking our energy, we have to just say what it is and move forward and be okay to make different choices and go on a different path. And that's a part of building a structured foundation and, you know, and not letting somebody make excuses on why they can't step up in your life. And so the new people that will come into your life, they're going to feel like they know you and that's going to be fake. They're going to feel like they know you, like you guys know each other. That's the gift and the blessings that the universe is giving you for you stopping and changing your path. So the Tanzanite and the Azurite, it's the crown chakra, the third eye chakra, and the throat chakra, and it's spiritual connection, yep, going on faith, meditation, and awareness. You're going to be aware of everything moving forward. I can access inner wisdom and spiritual realms. 
I can access inner wisdom and spiritual realms. The other one is Azurite. The third eye chakra and throat chakra is communication, right? Guidance and intuition. Yep. And it says, I open, I am open to guidance from the universe. And that is what the blessings and the gifts are happening. Once you stop dealing with the bull and realizing that this is something that the people and things in your life that's trying to make you jealous and um, make you miss all these different opportunities uh, and trigger you and just suck your energy and take away um, is why you have to trust in divine timing and know that there's a better way. So there you have it. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys. I'll post the schedule once I decide what it is, but um, moving forward, we should get three videos a day. And I love you guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification.